Hello. Today we will discuss about various versions of AutoCAD. Versions in the sense, not in terms of the versions that we know that like uh, AutoCAD 2023, 22, not like that. I mean to say, how many flavors of AutoCAD are there? Yeah, there are verticals like AutoCAD MEP, AutoCAD Mechanical. I'm not even talking about them. I'm talking about how many platforms AutoCAD run on. When you say platform, I am not meaning here OS because AutoCAD runs on both Windows and Mac OS and even Android uh, for the phone. Uh, whether AutoCAD runs on iOS, I don't know right now. Here I am talking about AutoCAD run on desktop as well as on browser, web-based AutoCAD. So as you see, this is my desktop version of AutoCAD. It has the regular commands and everybody knows about this for those who are into AutoCAD drafting or designing. So I have nothing to explain right now. But there is a flavor that runs on uh, browser, right? This is called web.autocad.com. When you log into that, you will get this interface. You have to create your account and you can log into that. You can upload a file, download a file, modify a file, everything, uh, design tools are there. Not all the commands are available right now, but uh, mostly almost all the 2D commands you can run here, right? So I hope you know that there is a desktop version and another is a web version. Now I am going to talk about another version that is called AC Core Console that is available inside the AutoCAD installation folder. This acad.ex is the standard AutoCAD, right? When you launch, we get the desktop version of AutoCAD. And this AC Core Console.exe, I'm not going into the history of that, how it is made, when it is made, why it is made. Uh, this is the, this is also a desktop application, but it's a completely console-based application. You can create commands like, sorry, create drawings here. Uh, with commands like circle and you get the same command that you get in desktop or web AutoCAD like here circle it asks you for the point and you give say 10 comma 20 and it asks for you the radius you give some radius 30 or whatever it's circle is drawn similarly here also you can give similar command and it asks for radius, you can give something. And now you cannot see here anything, right? Because it's a console application. But anyway, you can save it. You can give it a name, say. And it will be saved. And if you open this DWG file in AutoCAD, you can probably see the drawing. So this is a console version of AutoCAD. Now you will say, what is the use of that? Uh, I hope. You guys know about Autodex Forge and Autodex Forge actually needs a Autodex, uh, so AutoCAD version run in the Autodex cloud server as a sandbox. And I believe this AC core console actually is used at the sandbox. But anyway, the purpose of today's video is not explaining the different kinds of AutoCAD. I'm trying to say that suppose you want to learn about AutoCAD API or any CAD API using some programming languages, C sharp or C++ or something like that. Okay, good. You can use the available APIs from Autotex and you can consume them, uh, them and create your own command or something like that to automate some task in AutoCAD, either on desktop AutoCAD or on web AutoCAD or on forge okay but suppose you are in a learning stage and you are just learning object oriented programming now you have also have experience how a autocad software works right you also know how to write console applications in c sharp or c plus plus can you create can you create a application that works like this ac core console if you can create, 
then you are a good step that you can now start with learning AutoCAD API, right? Anyway, for demonstration, I have developed something. Actually, I have many things to describe. This is a solution. I name it CS CAD. There are many projects. I will explain uh, all of them in different projects and different videos. But for now, I am going to explain this in this video a little bit. Let's start this, okay? As you see, it has a interface like the AC core console. I can give the command like CIRC circle. It asks me for the center point, say 10, 20. I can give the radius and it creates a circle. But probably you cannot see it. I will show you how can you see it. Anyway, uh, suppose you give some wrong command. It prompts like unknown command exactly like the AC core console did, right? You can create lines. You can give 3D point as well, right? Oh, it is doing something. I took, it took some time. There is a reason why it took some time, but I have to check. Actually, my pro, uh, program is under development. It took some time because it is trying to connect to a cloud data. So what is a cloud data? Probably I have to explain it in a different video. But the thing is, I have tried to show you how can you make a small console application that behaves like a AC core console of AutoCAD, right? So for doing this, I have used the class names similar to the class names that Autodex AutoCAD API uses, right? But I have not included any reference from Autodex or AutoCAD DLLs. I have created the namespace and classes uh, and wrote minimum functions, minimum implementation of the functions so that it works. For example, the application class. Whenever we create a console application C -Serp, we get a program class and a main function, right? So I have renamed the uh, program class to application and I put it in a namespace something like that. Normal Autodex you have this namespace but I have created another top level namespace dcs.autodesk and to wrap up everything here and it is a main function. I am creating a document here adding this document to a document collection and setting this document to document. Uh, as MDI active document. So these classes are not coming from Autodex provided libraries. I have created those classes anyway. So I have a command loop that runs infinitely uh, and it asks for command, right? I've implemented few commands like point, line, circle, something like that. And there is only way out of this infinite loop is giving quit command. Okay, quit as a command. Though it is not implemented as a command, we could have implemented it as a separate command. But for now, I simply returned it from this loop. So I have a circle command, and circle command is uh, it is implemented as a class derived class, which is again inherited from I command interface. Okay and it has a execute function if you look at the code the code structure exactly looks like autocad object rx.net api but i don't have the dls included i have written this code myself even implementation of the gate point gate distance i have implemented myself right uh, just to understand so if you can understand this level of code you can have a good idea how the Autodex or AutoCAD Object Rx API works under the hood, right? So anyway, everything is not implemented because I am not going to create a competitive software like of Autodesk or AutoCAD. The whole purpose is to give you an idea how the API works under the hood. If you can understand this piece of code, you will be in a better position to use the AutoCAD API. Besides that, in future, if you get a chance to work in Autodex, 
maybe in the core development team of AutoCAD. Uh, this kind of knowledge will always help you. And if you are facing some interviews with Autodesk, you can probably showcase your skill set in that. By the way, as you see, there is a command called connect and disconnect. And I have implemented some cloud API. So what is a cloud API? So for example, I have created two uh, objects, right? One is circle and one is line. Now, can I see them? How can I see them? Okay, I have a project. I, have, I can see through a browser. I can see through a desktop application. Let's see it first using the desktop application. Okay. This is the desktop application. There is an option called connect. If I connect, but I am not seeing anything. In fact, I have to connect it first from here. Once I connect it, so it is connected to cloud server. Now, if I draw something, say circle uh, with a center point, say 0, 0, and radius 50, I am expecting to see a circle here. Is it not connected? Perfect. It hanged. Oh my God. I have to stop and then I have to come back again. I have fixed the problem by now. But I am thinking to explain the remaining part in a separate video because this video is already more than 11 minutes. So we will continue in the next video. So please keep in touch. Stay tuned. And I will explain the different uh, projects here. So which project is for which purpose. I will explain in a different video. In the next video most probably. So stay tuned.